Sir Arlen, for your introduction. And for the wonderful message of song, Brother Dave and Sister Lane. Amen. I would like to read again our uh, key text this morning. Is found in the book of uh, John chapter 6, verse 6 to 69. I am reading in King James Version, New King James Version. From the time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him, then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Mm. That was the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Mm. Let us pray. Our most gracious and kind Heavenly Father, this morning, Lord, I would like to share your words in front of your sons and daughters. I am not worthy, Father. Please cleanse me in Christ's name. Amen. My message this morning answers the questions of to whom shall we go in matters pertaining to eternity. Most every one of us has someone we can turn to. In time of sickness, we can turn to a doctor. In legal matters, we can turn to a lawyer. However, there are some things man doesn't have the answers for. So what are those, brothers and sisters? I will give you only four things. Number one, to whom shall we go with our sins? Can we turn to men of great wealth? Who is the richest person now in the world? Elon Musk? <laughs> or with uh, Tesla? Bill Gates? We cannot turn to them to run some our sins. That was the Bible said. It says here in Psalm 49 verse 7 to 8, None that boasts of great wealth can redeem his brother, nor give, nor give to God a ransom to him, for the redemption of their souls is precious. Mm. So this is the things that money can buy. We cannot go to also our spiritual leaders in this world, our pastor, or even the priest. You know, when I was young, when I was a Roman Catholic, I used to confess my sin to the press. And then uh, one time, so the priest came to me and then he said, okay, uh, Manjo, what is your sin? Uh, Father, I uh, disobey my parents. What else? I speak bad words, Father. And then he forgave me. But the father also has a sin. <laughs> One time, there was a story, you know, the priest assistant, or we call it in Tagalog, sacristan, in our church, like a deacon. So, there was a, during the service, the priest saw the sacristan that uh, he took some money from the offering. So, he called the sacristan. Uh, Peter, 
I saw you that you took some money like this. How much did you get? Because uh, he went to the confession room and then he never answered. Peter, how much did you get? Never answer. You wanna hear me? And then come, come here. Okay, let's walk. You, I will go to confession room. And then so Peter again said, Father, after the mass yesterday, I saw you with Mary. Went to the hotel. What did you do there? Raise no answer. And then, Father, you hear me? The Father, no answer, sister. <laughs> and then he came out. Father said, Sorry, Peter, I cannot see. <laughs> so maybe this Father also committed sin. Yeah. Hmm. So we can go to also our spiritual leaders to confess our sin. Only Jesus. Amen. In First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 says, There is one God and one mediator. He is Christ. Jesus. Amen. So He is the one, the Bible says that He was tempted in all circumstances, hmm. circumstances yet without sin. Hmm. Uh, number 2, please. Next slide, please. Where can we go for inward peace? The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 57, 20 to 21 says, The sinner has no peace, and there is no peace to be found in the pleasures of this world. Uh, Cambodian Prime Minister Hansen said, If you want inner peace, do not commit crimes. Those who commit illegal acts feel insecure, thus no peace of mind. So that's why it says here, true peace is found only in Christ Jesus. In John 14, 27 says, peace I leave, peace I give not as the world given. Let not your heart be troubled or afraid. Next slide, please. Home shall we go for security? You know, whether you like it or not, in this world, there is no, we don't have security in this world. Even uh, politicians, richest people in the world, how many President in the United States have been assassinated. Mm. Abraham Lincoln is there. Mm. John Kennedy. In the Philippines, there's a lot of politicians died during the time of uh, President Duterte. Mm. Many politicians died, mayor. But those are rich people but see that's why the bible says in uh, john 27 29 uh, my shepherd hear my voice and i know them and they follow me i give them eternal life and the, and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand my father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand. So no one can snatch us mm. of the father's hand, except if we are the one who will choose to flap the hand of God. So we have to stay brothers and sisters in our church, even though Membership is not a guarantee to be saved. 
Mm. But uh, the Bible says that outside the, time, the church, there is no salvation. Number four, please. Where can we go when the door of life closes? It says here, this depends on our decisions to Christ. If we accept Him, we will have rest. The Bible says that there is a time for everything under the sun. There is a time to be born and a time to die. In Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So even we walk in the shadow of death, brothers and sisters, But if we have to, the Bible says that in Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, we have faithful unto death, and he will give thee the crown of life. Mm -hmm. There is a true story behind the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. About 150 years ago, there was a great revival in Wales. As a result of this, many missionaries came to Northeast India to spread the gospel. The region known as Assam was comprised of hundreds of tribes who were primitive and aggressive headhunters. Into these hostile and aggressive communities came a group of missionaries who were spreading the message of love peace and hope in Jesus Christ. Naturally, they were not welcome. One missionary succeeded in converting a man, his wife, and two children. This man's faith proved contagious and many villagers began to accept Christianity. Angry the village chief summoned all the villagers he did call the family who had first converted to renounce their faith in public and face execution. Moved by the Holy Spirit, the man said, I have decided to follow Jesus. Mm. In reach of the refusal of the man, the chief ordered his archers to arrow down the two children. As both boys lay twitching on the floor, the chief asked, Will you deny your faith? You have lost both your children. You have lost your wife too. The chief was beside himself with fury and ordered his wife to arrow down. In a moment, she joins her two children in them. Now he asks for the last time, I will give you one more opportunity to deny your pain and me. In the face of death, the man said, The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning now. He was shattered like the rest of his family. But with their deaths, a miracle took place. The chief who had ordered the killings was moved by the faith of the man. He wondered, why should this man, his wife, and two children die for a man who lived in a far away land on another continent some 2,000 years ago? There must be some remarkable power behind the family spirit. Mm. And I too want to taste that faith. Mm. In a spontaneous confession of faith, he declared, I too belong to Jesus Christ. Amen. When the crowd heard this from the mouth of their chief, the whole village accepted Christ 
as their Lord and Savior. Mm. So brothers and sisters in Christ, when we go through difficulties in life, to whom shall we go? Mm. 